This is CHS TV News. Good morning, Cathedral. It's Thursday, November 22nd. I'm Kyle Babineau. And I'm Eric Hill with your morning announcements. With the Christmas Miracle Program, you are able to help out over 140 students that are in need this Christmas. Teachers, students, or classes can sign up to buy a gift for a child worth approximately $20 to $30 to make someone's Christmas a little merrier. You can sign up outside of the cafeteria during periods, th periods 3 and 4 every day. Gifts need to be returned by December 7th, so don't delay in signing up. And speaking of Christmas, the Eastgate Mall Christmas Gift Wrap Program is still looking for volunteers. Information is posted on the volunteer board and in guidance. By registering soon, you can get the shifts that you want. This is a great, great way to get your Christian service hours and to get into the spirit of Advent. For those students who miss ordering the grad ring in September, Jostens will be here at Cathedral on Tuesday and Wednesday of next week. Ring books are available in the main office. To order a ring, you'll be, you will need to bring a $60 deposit. This year, Cathedral has been asked to host YWCA's Breakfast for Young Women called the Totally Awesome Young Women's Breakfast. High school students from across the city attend this event to celebrate the achievements of women of all ages. Students from Cathedral are needed to organize the entire event. If you're a totally awesome young woman who would like to participate, please see Ms. Vesperini in the guidance department. There will be a meeting on Monday after school to discuss the initial plans. Graduates, it is now time to seriously start thinking about where you will be applying for post-secondary school. There's a, lot of, there's a lot to consider and the application process can be overwhelming. Mr. Nordoff will be holding university and college application seminars starting on November 27th. Students must sign up outside of his office for a scheduled time. Students can only sign up uh, for a time during their lunch or spare. Please see Mr. Nordoff for details. And now I'll pass it over to Mason and Giseth from the Glee Club. Hi guys, I'm Giseth and this is Mason and we're here to talk to you guys about our open mic nights that will ha be happening at the end of the month on the Wednesdays. Um, our very first open mic night is next Wednesday, the 28th, after school, and it's only a dollar to get in. It's going to be a laid-up back event, so we're hoping to get some feedback from you guys after the performance. You can follow us at CHS Glee on Twitter to get more info. Uh, we hope to see everyone there, and if you go, I'll give you bacon. Uh, now back to Kyle and Eric. Thanks guys. Attention all diversity club members. There will be a brief planning meeting after school on Monday, November 26th in room 310. You'll be discussing upcoming initiatives. Your advisors will see you in room 310 at 310 on Monday, November 26th. Mr. Chibuko would like to remind those students who picked up a CHS TV news crew application form to hand them in by the end of the day. Mr. Chibuko can be found in rooms 102, 103, and 104 throughout the day. If you cannot find him, please slide your application under the door of room 103. Attention field hockey players, your jackets are in. Pick up your team jacket today after school. And members of the Cathedral swim team, listen up. The swim meets for, the, for this season are posted on the co-op office door in student services. Attending the practice prior to a meet is a must if you want to be entered. Thanks from Coach Lucier. At the end of the announcements, teachers are asked to please dismiss Ms. Algiera's grade 11 accounting class for the trip to Mohawk College. Students, meet in the chapel. The bus leaves at 8.55. Thanks from Ms. Algiera. And as today is Thursday, it's time to recycle. But because of today's buyout, classes will be asked to bring their recycling to the cafeteria at the beginning of period two. All eco team members are asked to report to the CAF at the same time. Thanks from the eco team. It's now time to reveal the winner of this week's November contest. Congratulations goes out to Adam Kasich, who was randomly chosen from all those who correctly answered who the six famous dashes were from yesterday's video. Adam, with your teacher's permission, you can pick up your prize from Mr. Chibuko in room 103 sometime during period one. And during period one, Gale Guys will be collecting any donations you have for November. Remember, you can donate your money to the teacher who you will think will have the best mo by next Friday. As you saw earlier this week, Mr. Fidanza is currently in the lead with almost $52 being donated to his stash. The organizers of November would like to thank everyone for their support of this great cause. And those are all of your announcements for today, Cathedral. Good luck to our senior boys volleyball team today. Enjoy your day off tomorrow, everyone. Have a great weekend and thanks for watching.